if you trade stocks or options, you already know this. Most of what you see is noise, and it's hard to know when the odds are actually tilted in your favor. You've also probably noticed there's a new edge or a new algo or a new product with a new AI signal launching almost every week, usually with more marketing than math and very little rigor you can actually see. I'm Ophir Gottlieb, the co-founder and CEO of Capital Market Laboratories. My background is in financial mathematics and AI, trained at Stanford University, and my career has centered on building quantitative models that translate vast amounts of noisy, often contradictory data into usable signal, into probability. My work has powered research used by institutions with over $1 trillion in assets under management. In 2019, I was invited to speak at the CFA Institute's annual conference in London on the topic of disruption, where I discussed the future of markets in the era of algorithmic and AI-driven decision-making. The research I was asked to present was the application of AI and forensic accounting to equity return modeling. And that research was published in a peer-reviewed academic journal and is available on SSRN as one of the early demonstrations that machine learning and deep learning can detect structural financial signals in markets that look chaotic on the surface. In this short video, I'm going to show you something different. A system where every part of the process, from the data, to the model, to the results, is grounded in measurable probability, not promises. I want to start by introducing a simple idea. Markets are noisy by design. They're full of randomness, emotion, and reflexive behavior. The goal is to find some signal that's strong enough to cut through some of the noise so that over many observations, the model's decisions tilt outcomes slightly, but consistently in your favor. We need a repeatable edge, a consistent bias toward being right. Because when you have that and you apply it over and over again, it compounds. To find this edge, we train the system on a very wide range of data. Technical price behavior, volatility structures, macro context, and time-lagged relationships that capture how information actually diffuses through the markets, rather than all at once. You can think of it like heat spreading from a source in a room. The heater turns on in one corner, but the whole room doesn't instantly become 72 degrees. Some areas warm faster, some slower, currents form, and pockets of cold air stay put longer than you might expect. Market information behaves the same way, and any model that pretends it arrives everywhere at once is convenient, and it sure sounds good in an advertisement, but it's wrong. That's very different from the one indicator or clean signals people often tout, which usually only work in hindsight or in a narrow back test, if at all. Our model features are built to capture both the heat at the source and the way it diffuses, not just what happened, but how quickly, how far, and with what follow through. The model doesn't rely on one indicator or one theory. It integrates hundreds of features, each a small piece of truth, then tests statistically whether those pieces in combination and individually create a measurable advantage. That's how we move beyond intuition and into quantifiable probability. We let the data tell its own story, and we listen with enough structure and discipline and experience that we can measure whether that story is actually real. What makes this moment different is the structure of the market itself. 10 or 15 years ago, much of this analysis wouldn't have mattered in the same way. The data wasn't as rich, the compute wasn't as cheap, and market participants weren't as synchronized. Today, institutional algorithms and retail traders are all watching the same economic releases, the same intraday moves, the same flows, and reacting sometimes in seconds. That creates feedback loops, and those feedback loops create patterns. They're small, they're transient, but they're statistically detectable if you look at them in the right way and at the right scale. Our technology is built to find those patterns, to quantify them, and transform what used to look like pure market noise into a usable, measurable signal. This is what modern market modeling looks like, not predicting the future with certainty, but measuring the odds more accurately than before. 
higher win rates and larger average returns. And the signal is clear, not noise. That's what this system does. It converts messy, high dimensional market behavior into a clear, probabilistic view of tomorrow. A repeatable edge you can actually use. And that's what makes it a genuine breakthrough in applied market intelligence. Thanks for listening.